asked me a question about sex, he go to God. And my subject is, why sex control our lives? 3H. Why sex control our lives? 3 Glory to God, H. The first one is, glory to God, we've been hurt. We've been hurt by somebody we trusted. Whether it be your father, whether it be your, your mother, friend. Glory to God, we'll spend the night over your house. And while your mother went out to work, she let the friend over. And the friend hurt you. The friend raped you. The friend took advantage of you. And you was hurt. The next one is haunted. You've been haunted by your past. You've been haunted, go to God, by in your dreams, there have demons been sexually molesting you. Demons been sexually having sex with you. Hey, go to God. And now, in reality, you let every man get into your drawers because you let sex control you. And the third thing, we need to be healed by sex. Yes, we need God to heal our sexual horniness desires. Why sex control our lives? Because we've been hurt, we've been haunted, and we need help. We need help from God. The only person can help us is God. When I say the only person can help you is God. Your sex therapy can't help you because he's a freak. Hey, go to God. He puts you in a trance and he's touching your breasts. Hey, go to God. Let me tell you the truth, my friend. Hey, go to God. Sex is a, is a, is a hard subject. And half of y'all, y'all, y'all just freaks. Y'all just perverts. You let anybody get into your drawers. You let anybody go to God bless you. You let anybody take advantage of you because you can control your sexual desire, your sexual urge. Why sex become a go to God controls you? Why you can't control sex while sex controlling you? I just understand, especially church folks, especially people that call themselves Christian, they are freaks. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah, my friend. I'm talking about people that's in the church. They are horny from the pulpit to the door. Hey, God, anytime you are a pastor and you are married and you mess with somebody else's wife, you are a freak. Hey, glory to God. But why sex control lives? Because we are not in the scripture. We are not fasting, we are not praying, and we are not having fellowship with people that are strong. The Bible says, iron, go to shop that iron. And if you are not a believer of Jesus Christ, my friend, hey, go to God. God can take that sexual desire out of you if you want to be taken out of you. Period. Hey, go to God. But we are horny. We let sex control our lives. Yes, we let sex control our lives. Anytime you don't have a place to live and you let a man take advantage of you, he go to God and here you are, take your baby all by yourself. Sex and taking control, you have taken sex and taking advantage of you. He go to God. It's time to tell the truth. Because the truth will make you free. The truth will set you liberate you. Paul says, stand for liberty where Christ has made us free and be entangled again with yoke of bondage. You are a freak and you know you're a freak. And the best thing to do is let God help your freakiness. Let God help you to control your urges. If you got urges, don't mean to, to call somebody. If you got urges, get on your knees and pray. Don't even take a shower because that don't work. Hey, go to God. Don't even call Bob. Don't even call Jane. Don't even call Susie. Don't even call Billy. No, no. Call on Jesus. Hey, go to God. I'm talking about sex controlling lives. You are horny. You got Playboy, Playgirl magazine all in the bathroom, on your bed. Everywhere you turn around, you got a magazine. You are a freak. It's time, my friend, to let God help your hurt your heart and you need healing god is the only one that can take it away from you the bible says better be married than to burn yes mean that if you're passionate get married and stop letting people assume you're swimming pool